guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing a video all about getting ready with me for a date night out. I'm going out into Philly tonight and I wanted to show you guys um, what I did to get ready. So in this video, this is sponsored by FabFitFun and I show you guys their summer edition box and I wanted to use some of the products in the box so I thought it'd be a really good idea to open the box and then do a first impression of the video and include some of the products that I got in the box in this get ready with me. Now I know this isn't like a tutorial, it's just to get ready with me but I thought you guys might want to see it. Um, it's I always like watching these types of videos. So before I get into the get ready with me, let me show you guys what I got into my box. Hello everybody, I interrupt this programming to bring you my FabFitFun unboxing. So this this is the FabFitFun Summer Box. You guys seem to really like when I do these unboxings and I do get a lot of DMs and tweets and messages about them. So I think you guys are actually responding to these very well and you guys actually really like them, which I'm very happy about because I really like them too. So FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box and it has full size products of wellness, lifestyle, beauty, hair, all those good things and you get it four times a year. So each box is $49.99 and they all have a value of over $250 in them. So it's such a steal, honestly. And if you guys use the code Sterling, you get $10 off your very first box. FabFitFun just also came out with this new feature that lets you customize the items in your box. So that's super, super cute. I am gonna show you what's in my box. I can already tell you that I really like this box. Okay, let's start over here. So the first thing is from Pier One. Oh, cute! I love these little dishes. So this is a marble dish. I use these for hair ties and bobby pins, and that's because I lose my hair ties and my bobby pins like you wouldn't even freaking believe. Well, actually, you probably would because we're all girls here. So I always put them on a dish, and I like this one more than the one that I'm using, so. All right, next we got Summer and rosé. Oh wait, maybe there is rosé in here. Oh no, it's just a towel. <laughs> but it's a towel. So, so cute. Am I gonna get to the beach this summer? Who knows, because it's dried. I'm gonna try to. What is this? Um, Mariana, oh God, Marianella, Hawaiian black lava body caviar with ch charcoal. Hydrating body scrub. Thank God I'll use this tonight in the shower when I scrub off my tanner to put on a fresh coat. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, oh my god, it smells like molasses. You can see, I don't know if you can, but that's what it looks like. Gotta be kidding. This is my favorite freaking palette, and I literally ran out of my favorite shade in it today. Legitimately today. Okay, first off, this is a full-size tart product in a box. Can we just appreciate that? Like, can we just appreciate that? The shades in here are my favorite shades ever. So you get highlighters, um, powder contour highlighters, I'm not kidding, are the single best highlighters I have ever put on my face. Oh wait, hang on. There we go. That one wasn't swatching too well. There we go. This is my favorite top palette to ever, 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 ever exist. And the fact that it's in this box, honest to God, just made my day because it saved me money because now I don't have to go buy it and I was literally going to go buy it. Okay, it's what I'm wearing on my face right now. I'm wearing, what is it? I think it's called Lit. Next, we have Elmis Papaya Enzyme Peel. Apply for 10 minutes, rin rinse off. Okay, super easy. I love face masks. I love face masks. I love papaya and I love peels. So I think I'm gonna like this a lot. Luna Fofofo. Facial cleansing brush. Oh, duh. I don't know why I thought it was like way more complicated than it was. It's not that complicated. Um, facial, fa so I'm really happy that I now have this because now I can actually use something other than my hands to get all the sweat and gunk out of my face. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little card holder. And this is actually good because I just got brand new stride business cards. All right, and then the last thing is Kula Classic Sunscreen Moisturizer. So this is a classic sunscreen white tea moisturizer. SPF 50. Ooh, okay. I like that it doesn't smell like sunscreen. I hate when moisturizers smell like sunscreen. All right, well that was my Fat Fun box. I'll have a link to it down below if you guys want to get one for yourself. I'm also gonna have the coupon code Sterling for $10 off your very first box. Um, but now let's continue on with our regularly scheduled programming. Now we can get started. Okay, so I'm first gonna start with the Kula Sport Classic Sunscreen Moisturizer. I always look like I'm like rubbing my skin so hard with moisturizer, but I swear I'm not. Oh, she gives a glow. She's radiant. 
We like her. Okay, um, I always have self tanner on my face, but I just took a shower and I haven't put it on in like two nights. So it's getting a little splotchy. So, yeah, I'm using my hair towel to like dry. It's actually a t-shirt to whatever. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna go in with the foundation that matches like everything because I'm pretty even right now. I'd like to like congratulate myself for being so even. So I'm just taking a little bit of foundation. It's really, really humid out and I like don't want to sweat off my makeup or look cakey. So I literally am using like the tiniest amount of foundation. Like it's pretty much nothing. A little like pounce just to even out the splotchiness because I'm pretty even everywhere else. I've been really, really quick lately with doing my makeup and I'm like honestly blessed. I don't know how it happened, but I love that it did happen. Cool, foundation is on that quick these days. Um, concealer, I'm just gonna go in with like a little love touch of concealer. And I know I said that I don't do makeup tutorials anymore and I don't because this is just like my everyday look. That I've just been doing and it's just like my glam for every day. I feel really confident in this makeup and like really pretty and glowy in it. And I'm just gonna set a little bit with a translucent setting powder and my beauty blender just like dab 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 underneath the eyes. I love using a wet beauty blender to set my under eye concealer. It honestly just makes it the best. Like the consistency is so fine, so clean, so smooth. It's like perfectly airbrushed always get those smile lines okay like no matter what i do i just get smile lines and this is like one of the only things that helps for um bronzer and highlight i'm gonna go with the tardis pro glow pro, pro glow palette there we go um i use this every day and that's why i'm like so happy that it now is like fresh and new i have it again so I go with the shade right here called Sculpt. I love this because it's like the most beautiful warm tone shade ever. Um, it's just so wonderful. It just looks very like tan and sun kissed and like super, super natural. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a blending brush and the same shade and I just throw this in my crease. You guys, I'm not kidding when I say my, sim my makeup is so simple these days but I feel really pretty in it. Like it's what makes me feel the best. So I really like doing this makeup. Um, so a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little under the eye, and then a little on the nose. No, this is not like a nose contour. I just do this so that my face is like a little more even. Like I literally don't do a nose contour. I just throw it in there. Then I'm gonna do highlights. So I'm using the Pro Glow. I think I'm gonna use Fire today, actually. I'm gonna go with lit or fire. What do you think? I, this is my my legit dilemma every single day. I'm so gross. I just put it in my hair towel. Okay, I'm gonna go with. I'm just. You know what? I'm just gonna mix all of them. Like honestly, it's just like rude of them to think that I can like decide that. Okay, I'm just putting on a little bit of blush just to warm these cheeks up. Mm -mm. For my brows, um, I just go in with a eyeshadow and I just throw this right underneath my brow, I like the highest point, just to archen it up, heighten the arch. Yeah, I just said archen, a little bit on the inner corner there. Literally, I just like throw this everywhere. Um, now for the eyes, I do the same thing every single day. So I take a black eyeshadow and like a little smudger brush and I just run it along my upper lash line. Like literally that's it, it's so simple. Then I take a black eyeliner and I rim my waterline. Oh, my contact is bugging out, hey girl. And then I'm just gonna put on mascara. Mascara changes the whole look. Like I feel like I'm not even like human until I put on mascara. I tweeted out yesterday like how do girls only put on one coat of mascara and still it like baffles me. Like if I was done after just that one coat, like what? So that's my makeup. Um, I didn't put my lips on. I'm just gonna do a lip gloss, which is downstairs. But now I'm gonna do my hair. I hate doing my hair. Like honestly, I just wish my hair always just like air dried itself because it takes so long to dry. I don't feel like I wash out my conditioner. Ew, did I even wash it out? Ew, it literally doesn't, wait, did I? Well. That's all right. 
because I'm gonna put in leave-in conditioner, which is what I'm doing right now. And also, like, the leave-in conditioner that I use, it's like a spray-in, but I never actually spray my leave-in conditioner and I always put it in my hands and then put it on my head. Then I put in a little bit of leave-in hair treatment. I mean, leave-in heat protectant to protect the goodies. The goodies from the hair. God, I don't want to dry my hair. Does anyone like drying their hair? Honestly, okay, I have to leave in one hour. One hour I have to leave. I can do my hair in an hour. I'm gonna blow dry my hair, then I'm gonna go downstairs and like finalize like my outfit and stuff, come back up and then straighten my hair because I hate straightening my hair right after I blow dry it. So I'm gonna blow dry it and then I'll be right back because this is a boring process and it sucks to do. I right, switched tops. I was feeling this one a little more. I think it's a little more summery. Um, so I'm just gonna straighten my hair real quick. I have to leave my house at 5.30, it's 5.25. So it's actually an hour since I last checked in with you guys. And I have to straighten my hair still. So, we're fine, it's fine. We're fine, it's fine here. I have to get gas before I go, so I just wanna have a lot of stuff to do. Um, and I know my hair is already straight, it's just like puffy, so I need to depuff it with a straightener. That's honestly the whole reason why I straighten my hair. If you're wondering, it took me about 30 minutes to dry my hair, which is so annoying. I think I'm gonna get that Dyson hair dryer just because it's supposed to like dry your hair like super, super quick. I'm just gonna finish up because straightening your hair is not entertaining, so I'm just gonna finish this and then I'll check back in when we do the final touches. All right, straighten the hair. A little bit of shine mist. Um, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of drops. This is the Cover FX Illuminator Drops. Here, a little on my collarbone. Yeah, I make this face when I do it. How can I not, you know? It's like a little bit. I don't want too broad of shoulders, but I want my shoulders to shimmer. I like shoulders. I think shoulders are beautiful. I think that's it, and I think I'm ready to go. That was my get ready with me. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thank you, Fat Fit Fun, for working with me in this video. Leave any suggestions down below for what you guys want to see from me, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!